Hey there, I know, another video so soon. I uh, just got done with my first weekend shooting with this guy, the Leica Mini Lock Zoom. Would you like to see it without the lens cap? <laughs> Here it is. This post will really just be initial findings in my first five rolls of film with this camera. Not into any great detail because I'm still very much learning it, learning what it can do and learning how I will be able to incorporate this better into my work in the future. All right, let's try this video. So my work led me to Los Angeles, California this weekend. I had a concert, I had a bachelorette party, I had a, a very non-traditional wedding and a very traditional wedding. And I brought along this camera through the journey just to test it out, different situations, scenarios, to see how it did. Yeah, just wanted to share a little bit about how that went. You should know with this camera, it is the mini lock zoom. I actually did not use the zoom on this very often. I used just a couple images during the concert because we were a little further away than I thought we would be. It's the only time I really utilized the zoom to... It's just not, it's not my thing. Um, but that's the only time I used the zoom, a couple pictures. I was surprised when I did hold the camera still. I did find it to be a pretty usable image. The zoom is not something I plan on utilizing with this camera. In fact, I plan on probably getting the 40 millimeter version of this camera as well to see how that um, does compared to this. So keep that in mind with these images. Most of these are just at the 35 millimeter focal length. I felt like a kid waiting for Christmas morning for my film to arrive. I, I even called my normal film store because they took a few hours more than they usually do like wondering where this film was because I was so anxious to see it and see what it looked like. It just goes to show how much I love film and how exciting this kind of chapter is. I learned from a few of these images that this is not a spray and pray camera. I found that the images were most usable when I really took time to compose my image. Compose it, shutter it, uh, those are all very technical words. Uh, red eye is back. If you've forgotten, red eye is a little terrifying when you see it back in photos. I did have to wait a bit for the flash on this camera, a little more than I expected. It became a bit uncomfortable, especially if it was a darker setting and I wanted to get a subject. Maybe I wanted a couple photos and I had I'd, I would take the photo, then I'd have to wait and wait with them. The subject is ready for a photo, but the camera's not, and so I, I have to kind of finesse how that will work moving forward um, because it just takes a while naturally for the flash to recharge on this camera. I would like to get to a place with this camera where I am able to be a better storyteller and adding in that sense of atmosphere, and I think I'm just struggling to find that. That's something I'm excited to keep exploring. The rolls of film that I used to test out this camera Portra 400, Cinestill 800, Cinestill 400 as well, and HP5. Pretty all standard film stocks for me, and I felt like this camera um, did what I expected as far as look and feel with the film grade. All right, so we'll just get into a few of the photos. This was just me walking around Hollywood taking a few pics, trying to stay out of trouble. Hollywood is not one of my favorite places, so the, these are just a few test photos. I was seeing how the sun would do with flares. I was seeing what I could do with shadows, if this was late afternoon. Moving into the Hollywood Bowl, you know, it was so great I could get this camera in. Because of where I was in the audience, I tried my best to find the jumbotron moments of the artist that I was capturing. I found it to be incredibly challenging. I did a few atmospheric things. You know, the Hollywood Bowl is such a cool place to see a concert, so I got some of the audience, tried to get some of the lights, which I was very surprised with how the lights worked here and how this camera picked up sort of like moving light trails was really interesting. I decided to explore more of how, how that can work in the future. I mean, I would say these images are not award-winning. 
I think some of them are quite fun and I think that my style does come out through several of them. Just kind of a, a unique uh, experience. Bachelorette party, like I said, I was, I was kind of a guest slash documenting this event, just having a, a little test run at some of the details here, getting the girls together, you know, these shoes, all the things. Moving into first wedding day, like I said, this was a very non-traditional wedding. It took place at a recording studio slash concert venue. And so the it was very dark in this whole space. It also rained, um, which made it a little tricky to get too much natural light. Starting off, I did a few detail shots in the hotel room with this camera. I did not think they were great. I don't really shoot details at 35 uh, millimeters focal length. So this camera was just supplementary and when I had a chance to snap it for a few photos I did. So not a whole lot of things in the getting ready part. Just a few little ceremony moments here. I was surprised how it picked up like lots of light in a very dark space for a couple of these. This is, you know, just using the automatic focus. Pretty neat little set here. And then going into, I, I really brought this camera out and wanted to test how it did during reception. So I have, you know, fun series here, all kinds of moments and people, shenanigans, antics. Pretty pleased with how this camera picked up things. I. I'm not sure what I was overall expecting because I had never seen what the images looked like just yet. So it's just like a blind experiment. Quite pleased with um, how everything turned out here. And then into just some of the last moments from a more traditional wedding that I captured. I did make a few mistakes. The settings on the camera for a, a little part of it, I put it at 0.7 and I got a whole set of images that are obviously really out of focus and that was really disappointing. From now on I will be using just automatic focus on this camera for the HP5. I'm still learning how black and white works for me and um, I'm not sure I love it with this camera. I think I like the Sinista a little bit better. But yeah, those are, uh, these are, these are the images we got. These are the images that we have for people that speak real English. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty excited about these images. I think I'm more excited about the potential of this camera, using it properly, kind of learning its limits, learning how far I can push it. I what I did think some of the stuff with the flash was really interesting, especially when it it had the I had interesting lasers and things that I was working with. I thought that this camera really captured things in a very unique way, so that was very exciting. I thought some of the portraits with just like simple flash in a dark setting when they turned out. Um, I thought they looked really cool. I, great. Uh, so like I said, I, I plan on doing a, a fuller scope of using this camera once I get a few more weddings and experiences under my belt. But for now, this is just a, you know, a first impressions of this camera, initial findings, discoveries are still to be had, but um, thanks so much for watching and look out for um, hopefully more content soon. It would be great if I could keep this up. We'll see.